It's a beautiful fall day here in Atlanta. I thought I'd take a minute to show you guys some of the artwork that I did in my yard. To start with, we've got one of my standard windmills that I make a lot of. This one's been hanging here for a few years. It's got a little, the tail is kind of themed after our neighborhood logo with the little trolley. And uh, it's a light breeze today, so it's not moving much. But it is moving a little bit. We have other bike theme things in the yard as well. I've got this old tandem bicycle. This is a Huffy, I believe, from the 1960s or so. Uh, I used to actually have this thing rideable, but it's obviously yard art now. We've got stained glass in the spokes. And at night, we've got some lights behind it to really light it up. But it just sits there as decoration. And of course, my kids like to get on it sometimes. On this crepe myrtle here, you can see we've got a bike wheel. I put this bike wheel here a couple years ago, and I've been using zip ties and string to keep the branches growing kind of in the wheel so my hope my hope is to cut these zip ties at some point and have this thing held by the branches where they literally wrap around you can see how this one's wrapping around there I put a little motion on there to spin if you pull it up it's just a uh, it's actually a laser disc as well as a compact CD disc in the middle uh, so when the sun hits it, it's kind of neat. Let's head to the backyard. Hey girls. And back here, we got this big tall black walnut tree and hanging off of this branch. This is one of my oldest sculptures. I was out of my old house for ooh, years and years and years. This thing's about 15 years old. Keeps going. Believe it or not, there's actually a couple bullet holes in the tail. This thing has been the target of shooting, which is kind of scary to think about. Back here we also have a tree house. And we've built and hanging on the edge of the tree house is another little windmill. This one was a subject of a YouTube video I did. It's not too breezy today, so it's not really moving much. But when the wind's nice, it'll spin around. And I'll show you some of the stuff we have inside. This sculpture here, which I call Kaleidocycle 2. There's other videos on it if you want to watch a little bit more. And I'll have some other videos coming out soon with detail about this structure. Let's go up to the kids' rooms and I'll show you the mobiles that I made. For my son, we've got a little bike wheel that spins. We got a few little plastic planets attached. In my daughter's room, we've got a variety of little things hanging from it as decoration. On the top, this is a motor for a disco ball. And there's AC power supplied behind it. I can stop the wheel if I want. The motor will keep going, but the bearings in the wheel will let me hold it still. And I have the motor on a timer. Well, actually on a smart plug so I can control the schedule. And when it turns on, it starts spinning. Uh, interestingly enough, the way the disco ball motor works, sometimes it spins clockwise, sometimes it spins counterclockwise. I've got one last little secret spot to show you. Let's go in here. It's where I store a lot of my art pieces that are 
in progress or waiting to get installed elsewhere. We have pieces like this made with the stained glass. Just waiting for my next art installation. Uh, this piece here, which lights up, but uh, I'm ready, getting ready to install that back on the belt line soon. A few more art pieces, more stained glass, giant pinwheels. Got a few of those. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this inspires you to maybe do some more decorations in your own yard.